Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's March 11th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Brian Babler and Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, folks, much higher yields this week. Uh, uh, Eye-popping almost 8% uh, year-over-year CPI number showing inflation remains robust. Uh, Brian, why don't you take us through how the markets reacted? Yeah, thanks, Mike. Yeah, we certainly saw a little bit of a, a little bit of a wild week, you know, amidst uh, Amidst the continued geopolitical concerns, uh, that CPI number was definitely uh, pretty high, as you said, 7.9% year over year, which is up from 7.5%, uh, and X food and energy 6.4% up from uh, from 6%. So uh, we definitely saw a rate drift higher. Uh, you know, the, the 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 broken record of the last few weeks has been all the volatility that we're seeing, both on the equity side and and in interest rates. Uh, but week over week, we saw uh, U.S. Treasury rates sell off about 27 basis points in 10 years from a 173 to about a 2% as we're recording this video. Uh, and in 30 years, that was about 21 basis points from a 218 to about a 239 as we're making this. So um, slightly flatter, but uh, but definitely move higher in yields. Uh, munis uh, followed a similar trajectory. 10-year uh, muni, we're still waiting on the final MMD read. Uh, but 10-year muni uh, MMD was up about 24 basis points, uh, so slight outperformance in 10-year versus the Treasury. Uh, that's gone from a 161 last Friday to, uh, you know, call it roughly around a 185, depending on the final uh, final results at 3 o'clock. Uh, and then 30-year was off about 23 basis points from a 203 to, again, around 206, uh, a 226, sorry, uh, depending on what the final outcome is. So, um, you know, uh, with with that, uh, supply ended up a little bit lighter than we expected. Um, more deals continue to go day to day with all this volatility. Uh, that figure sits at around three and a half billion. Um, so supply wasn't too bad, which uh, which definitely helped things in the muni market. Um, you know, we saw uh, another week of fund flows uh, uh, exiting muni uh, muni bond funds. Uh, that brings us to, I think it's uh, seven out of the last eight weeks we, uh, we had outflows. Um, so that continues to put pressure on things. Bid wanted activity was definitely higher. Um, we were averaging about 1.2 to 1.5 billion a day. Um, the, the positive note there is that although bid wanted activity is higher, um, you know, not all of it is trading. So we're not seeing sellers that have to sell it's more sellers that are opportunistically, you know, seeing where they can catch good bids. So uh, there was an interesting article uh, in Bloomberg, um, you know, that that referenced the bid wanted activity and and liquidity kind of drying up a little bit with fewer bidders um, putting numbers on deals, uh, putting numbers on on bonds out for the bid. But um, but as, until we start seeing, you know, real force selling, uh, that hasn't been, you know, putting too too much pressure on the market. It's more just um, you know, wider bid ask spreads. Um, but again, that's uh, that's a decent volume. So, um, you know, a, a pretty active week uh, for sure. And uh, we'll continue to see that uh, probably for the next coming weeks as the market continues to grapple with all the external factors as well as uh, what inflation means and, and where rates are going to go. And we saw earlier this week on the CNBC Muni Money segment, uh, James Eisland from uh, Newberger Berman was on that segment talking about how a lot of the behavior he's seeing from investors is still uh, municipal investors taking their long-term strategies, not uh, not react overreacting to current market and price moves, but recognizing that uh, Muni portfolios are built for the long term, often employing a barbell strategy, and so just uh, averaging these yields into their existing portfolios and uh, and continuing to stay the course, uh, even though it has been a rocky one of late. Um, you know, the other trend, uh, obviously, worth noting is that uh, in this uh, overall more limited supply uh, environment in the new issue market, we're seeing an uptick in the usage of bond insurance at the same time, which is, is not unsurprising in a volatile market. Uh, Morgan, why don't you take us through the uh, transactions you saw this week? Sure. Um, so this week, we did see an uptick um, in activity. Total supply was right around $12 million, with the uh, largest transaction being the uh, Two and change million or billion rather state of Cal deal. I was priced by Wells, um, but in our space, Bam had a pretty nice week. We priced um, 433 million across 19 series in eight states. Um, and just a couple deals from this week to highlight that we were involved in. Uh, the first would be the 180 million Jefferson Parish Waterwork District in Louisiana, which was a tax exempt deal priced by Stiefel. There was a 35 million Niagara Falls Public Water Authority uh, New York deal, which was taxable. 
uh, priced by FHN, and then a 32 million South Butler County, Pennsylvania deal priced by PNC. And then kind of as we look to next week, the calendar slows down a bit again. So total supply as of right now appears to be about 6 million, but the largest deal is accounting for almost 3 billion of that, which is the um, dorm pits, which has two series taxable and tax exempt. Um, so in our space, as of right now, it looks like we're going to be pricing about 150 million with the ability to make that uh, closer to 300 million if we see some stability in the market, since we've got a couple deals that are um, day to day, such as the Arizona sports deal that um, RBC is working on, but just a few deals that we're going to be watching next week. Um, the first deal, which historically comes uninsured, but we will be uh, watching it. It's going to be the 75 million Mount Diablo USD Cal deal that Stiefel's working on. Um, there's also a 50 million Benton, Washington Regional Public Water Authority of the state of Arkansas, which is also a Green Star transaction, um, which is going to be um, Cruz and Associates is working on that. And then a 27 million Lodi Public Financing Authority in Cal that uh, Piper is working on. So those will be the deals that we are keeping an eye on next week in a kind of a lower calendar type environment. And of course, the Jefferson Parish transaction uh, last week was also a green star. And uh, there's another Jefferson Parish uh, transaction hanging out there on the calendar uh, for the, that, the one last week is for the water system. The upcoming one is for the sewer system. I think that's coming in the next couple of weeks uh, will be another 60 or $70 million once, uh, once that's priced. So we'll keep an eye on that for the calendar in the future. Thanks for your time today. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, Mike.